Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your pick a card reading. You chose this beautiful pink hibiscus plant. Right away, I'm getting that people are seeing you as someone who is very juicy and radiant as well as very feminine. I am getting the sense that you also have a really peaceful, calming energy and I'm getting that you quench people's thirst. So if someone is having maybe a bad day or they're feeling a little drained or tired, you're like a glass of fresh juicy water that just feels so good after a long day and I'm getting that you also really take care of yourself and you also have this sparkle about you that really shines and makes you stand out from other people. You have something very unique and special about you and you yourself could like to wear glitter or sparkle. Maybe you wear a certain gemstone or a diamond or something very shiny and magnetic and attractive. I'm also getting fertility with the stamen here coming out of the hibiscus. So you could yourself be um, expecting a baby or um, trying to conceive or maybe you yourself are creating in your business or creating somewhere in your life that is bringing a lot of life-giving, nourishing energy to the surroundings and making the world a better place pile number one you are definitely very glowy and shiny you could also like to wear glitter on your skin or lotion your skin and make it very shiny and moist i'm just getting you're really juicy and radiant and people feel very nourished and loved in your energy pile number one Hi, pile number one. This is the oracle slash tarot reading portion of the reading. And you have these beautiful four goddesses, Persephone, Green Terra, Spider Woman, and Ishtar. And I am seeing some sort of recent evolution that has sparked this intense glow up in your life. Particularly, I'm seeing that people may have recently seen you as inexperienced or a little bit naive, but I'm seeing that they were strongly mistaken and that you're actually, you're a very powerful person and I'm seeing that they actually misunderstood just how powerful you were pile number one. I'm also getting that they could view you as very beautiful and youthful. Again, a lot of fertility energy coming through with the Persephone card, especially with all the flowers in her hair. I'm getting a lot of feminine energy that is strongly radiating from this card. But I'm also seeing that you're also very much connecting with mother nature as well with this green tarot card and i'm seeing that you're in a place where you're really happy and you're feeling really good about yourself and i think people can sense that about you and they're really curious how you got to be to this place where you are so you feel lighter you feel happier you feel at peace and I think people are noticing that about you and I'm getting that you may be smiling at something that something that recently went really well for you and I'm getting that a lot of people thought that maybe this wouldn't pan out or it wasn't going to work out for you but I'm seeing that it actually did work out for you and now you kind of have like this, excuse me, this cute little grin like, oh my gosh, haha, the universe is always on my side, not in a mean or condescending way, but just in a way that 
you knew in your heart, in your soul that this was all going to work out and everything came together perfectly for you and people are noticing about that, noticing that about you. And for the Spider Woman card co-creation, I'm getting that you are extremely, extremely powerful. You are destined for success. You have really been channeling your creative energy. Again, with the fertility and the creation energy coming through, you, I'm getting that, especially with the red as well, your sacral, sorry, the root chakra is very activated. And I'm seeing that you're attracting a lot of safety, a nesting energy for yourself, the basics, and making sure you're really set up to feel safe and complete for this birthing process, whatever it is. I'm seeing that you've created a lot of systems in your life that feel really supportive for you in whatever it is that you're creating. If it's a real like, human child, that could mean building uh, like cribs, making their home, their rooms very cozy and comforting and safe. Maybe that could mean installing child safety locks, stuff like that. I'm feeling that that's the energy that's coming through and I'm, I'm getting the sense that you're putting a lot of systems in place for you to feel supported during this time. Even if it's not a, like a physical pregnancy, maybe it's a metaphorical pregnancy, people are seeing that you are really setting yourself up for success, setting yourself up to do well and people really appreciate that about you and people, they... Some people are really motivated by you and others, you could invoke um, feelings of inadequacy in other people. And with the Ishtar communion, I'm seeing that this is a time in your life where you're feeling very whole, very complete, and very nourished. So a lot of people could see that about you and they could um, want to know how you got to that place in your life, how you got to where it seems like you have everything all together and all at once and it i'm getting the sense that a lot of people wish they had your life they wish that they could be more like you or at least embody some of the energy that you have brought to your own life pile number uh, pile number one what else are people noticing about your glow up pile number one Ooh, Queen of Cups. Your relationships definitely could be flourishing right now. I'm getting that you could have a really beautiful, stable love life as well with the Queen of Cups. I'm getting there is a lot of masculine energies that want to support you, want to romance you is what is coming through. Take you on dates. I'm getting they want to treat you like a lady in the traditional way, whether that means flowers, jewelry, chocolates, romance, planning the date for you. I'm getting a lot of romance coming through and you could definitely have more than one possible suitor, pile number one. And a lot of people are really intrigued by this. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you definitely have options when it comes to uh, lovers, even if you are in a committed relationship, I am seeing that people, um, you know, they could be like, oh, I wish I had someone like pile number one. You could inspire a lot of people um, to notice what types of qualities they want in a partner. Like they could look at you and your relationship and um, want to emulate that for themselves. It could definitely, I'm getting that you have a lot of inspiring energy about you and you motivate people to want a better life for themselves. Ooh, it's so interesting. Spirit of Pentacles under the Spider Woman card. I am seeing that you are very powerful right now and you are destined for material, physical success with the Spirit of Pentacles and co-creation. I'm getting that you're really good at bringing ideas into the physical reality and manifesting them into uh, the physical and making it so we can enjoy the gifts that you have brought into this world and that energetic 
uh, benefit that you have brought will definitely be compensated. Pile number one. And then we have the Nymph of Swords. So I am seeing that people are definitely noticing that you are feeling very, very powerful. You're feeling very successful as well. I'm getting that it almost feels like you have the world in your hand. You're influencing a lot of different people, pile number one. I'm seeing that a lot of people could really look up to you, especially with all the hummingbirds circulating around you. And I'm getting that it's going to be important to make sure the people who are circulating around you have good intentions and want the best for you is what is coming through. I'm getting that having strong boundaries is going to be really important as well, pile number one. So that is the reading I have for you, pile number one. Please like and leave a comment. It really helps the channel. If you want a personalized reading, check out my link in the description below. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your pick a card reading on what people are noticing about you and how you are radiating and glowing during this time in your life. And right away, I'm getting that you have recently undergone some major transformation where you are now feeling lighter and more whole. And I'm seeing that you're in a stage in your life where you are experiencing new experiences. You're not afraid to take chances. I'm hearing that you may be traveling recently and you are feeling very open and ready to have these novel experiences, which is going to bring so many blessings and open so many doors for you. And I'm getting people are noticing that you have broken broke out of your shell and you are really shining and your energy is very pure at this moment and you could also be doing some sort of purifying ritual or releasing ritual where you are letting go of old patterns and negative beliefs about yourself and really creating this clean clean girl aesthetic for yourself where you're feeling really rejuvenated you're feeling healthy you're feeling juicy i'm getting that you're ready to spread your wings you're ready to leave your imprint on the world and i'm getting that you're also feeling very confident during this time and it's really showing and people are noticing and because you're feeling so much confidence I'm getting the sense that people are, they're really confident in you and they believe in you and they can tell that you are going places, pile number two. And I'm seeing that your aura right now is very highly magnetic and it's like a clean slate. You could have healed a lot of past trauma recently and because of this, it's it's a very healing energy and people like to be around you in this pureness pile number two hello pile number three this is the oracle slash tarot portion of the reading you have these four beautiful goddesses who have messages for you you have kali gaia parvati and green tara and i'm getting that Based on these goddesses coming through, you have a lot of potent energy right now and I'm getting that you have some sort of vision of how you want your life to look like. I'm getting you're being very intentional at this time, pile number two, and people are really noticing about that. You could be actually... Uh, I'm seeing that you're having some sort of like spiritual awakening slash ego death with the Kali liberation card. You could really feel more like cracked open is what I'm hearing and feeling more free, feeling more activated, feeling like you're connecting more with who you came here to be. I'm getting that you have like this very, you have very striking facial features 
and people are really noticing your beauty oozing from your your face and I'm seeing that you are feeling a lot more peaceful and especially with the Gaia card I'm getting that you are in a time where you are flourishing where you are creating where something new is being birthed you could also have this very nourishing energy pile number two that feels really good to people people could want to spend time around you they i'm getting that you smell good for some reason that you really take care of yourself you look healthy you look nourished i'm hearing that you're eating well that you're taking care of your body you're moving your body you're circulating energy in a way that is healthy that's sustainable that feels good for you that feels healthy and expansive and i'm getting that you have this sort of glow that people are really taking notice because you're just you're just pouring into yourself is what i'm hearing and i am seeing that you could definitely be spending more time in prayer in meditation in some sort of devotional practice with the parvati card and i'm getting that you you may have um like kind of come back to religion is what i'm hearing maybe you were exposed to some sort of religion in your childhood but now you're kind of going back to okay now that i'm older how am i viewing this particular belief and can i use these beliefs to enhance my life is what i'm hearing and i'm getting that people are noticing that you you're a lot more intentional with your time with your energy how you show up and how you move through the world i'm getting that you are also moving more slowly i'm hearing that you're smelling the roses more you're taking time to notice what is going on around you and people are definitely taking notice of that and the green tara card it came out in pile number one as well but i am seeing that you're feeling a lot happier you're glowing you're smiling i'm getting that you're feeling happy and content your crown chakra could really be open right now and you could really be connecting to God, the higher power, the universe. And I'm getting that you're feeling a lot more connected to other people as well in your, your own life. And you could really have developed some closer relationships with others that you didn't necessarily think that you would develop these close relationships. Maybe these people are coming back into your life or maybe these are new people, but I'm getting that some sort of unexpected relationship is coming for you and is really shifting the way that you're seeing the world and activating new ideas, new beliefs, new ways of being for you, pile number two. And that's definitely adding to your glow up and people are noticing that and I'm getting that people want to spend more time and energy with you for sure, pile number two. Seven of Cups, you have a lot of options right now. Ooh, the Empress. I think this card really uh, like accentuates the Gaia card with the Empress, especially because I feel like both are representing, representing Mother Earth, nature, abundance, fruitfulness, fertility is really coming through. Justice, ooh, that's really interesting. People could see you as very devoted to a specific cause in the seven of wands yeah i'm seeing that people are noticing that you are someone who is solution focused you have this optimism about you that really motivates you as well as the people around you to do better for themselves and i'm getting that you have this abundant state of mind where uh, you're very conscious of how you're thinking, how you're talking, how you're behaving, how you're feeling. You, again, I'm getting a lot of intentionality uh, coming through this pile number two, and you're really being a 
conscious creator with how you are showing up in the world. And because you are being a conscious creator, you're noticing more options that you have available that you wouldn't necessarily have noticed if you weren't being so intentional. And again, I am seeing this fertile, creative, nurturing, mothering energy coming from you, whether that means like an actual pregnancy or some sort of creative force in your life. I'm definitely getting that flow is surrounding you, uh, running through you. People are noticing this about you. There's something about you that's very easy, very uh, nurturing, um, rejuvenating is coming through as well, especially when I think of water and Mother Earth and how uh, like everything flows and grows the way in harmony. And I'm getting that you have created this in your life, some sort of flow state that feels really good and really in alignment and people are noticing about that about you. And then with the justice card, I am seeing that you may have gone through something difficult or something may have happened in your life where you have this strong urge to play out karma in a way that is going to heal that karma in a way that is going to break the cycle and heal that uh, trauma that may have happened. And you may have already done this or you may be going through this right now, but it's definitely gonna leave you feeling more whole, more complete and more elevated. And then with the seven of wands, I'm getting that you're feeling very forward moving, very energetic, ready to take on whatever challenges may come your way. And I'm getting that you're feeling very confident at this time as well. And this confidence is something that is really going to help you lead. I'm getting that you may be a leader in this upcoming chapter of your life, but you notice that this is also, she's in a field of lavender. So I'm getting the sense that you're going to lead from a place of softness, of, re of relaxed state, leading from a feminine energy, leading from this serene calmness, this intentionality again is coming through. And when you lead from that space, I'm getting that amazing, miraculous things are going to come out of that. People are going to be uplifted by your leadership skills. So that is the reading I have for you, pile number two. Please leave a comment if it resonated. Subscribe if you haven't. If you want a personal reading, check out my link below and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your pick a card reading on what people are noticing about you and how you're glowing up. And I'm getting the sense that people are feeling that you are feeling more lighthearted, more open hearted. I'm getting you're feeling more free to be who you are. I'm getting that you're kind of a mix of different qualities that are really unique and don't normally mix together. Um, you could be very like your alone time, but you could also be seen as someone who is really social at times and who is the life of the party, even though you also have this side of you that is very inward and likes the solitude and peace and rest and healing. I'm getting that you could be spending a lot of time in the sun or a lot of time in nature and this time that you spend is very, very healing for you and because you've spent so much time healing yourself and nurturing yourself and spending time in nature i'm getting that people are sensing that you have gone through some sort of healing journey and you're coming out on the other side just feeling so healthy so magnificent so much lighter than you were before and i'm getting that you're also radiating your own sort of beauty that is very unique and is infused with your flavor and your essence and because it you are so beautiful naturally but now you have this extra umph this extra infusion of your essence into your body and you're really highlighting the beautiful parts about you that you love 
it, people are really noticing about that and people may be very attracted to your beauty and they may not know necessarily why they love to look at you because they don't understand that you have the energy to back the beauty behind your physicality and because you're so integrated it makes you very beautiful and it's hard for people to stop looking at you and they really like to admire and um, use your energy for themselves hello pile number three welcome to the tarot slash oracle portion of this reading we have four beautiful goddesses that have messages for you and it is Rhea, Philo, Demeter, Nurturer, Lakshmi, Fortune, and Shakti, Transformation. So pile number three, I'm getting that part of your glow up and what people are noticing is you have a really, really, really massively shifted your physical appearance <laughs> as well as your inner state but I'm getting that physically you are very beautiful and you may have had some sort of physical glow up that is really noticeable and has really elevated you and we always talk about how inner work and inner beauty is really important but outer beauty is also important and loving the way that we feel is really important and loving how we look is also really important and i'm getting that people are definitely noticed noticing that something has shifted on the uh, outside for you and i'm getting that you have been really intentional about this you could have really crafted what looks good on you what type of makeup how you wear your hair you may have done some like procedures is what i'm hearing and you are just really radiating i'm feeling this has definitely up leveled how you view yourself and you notice that a lot of, like three out of four of these have i would say even four out of four have to just like this halo coming around their head and it's almost like exuding this queen like energy this goddess like energy coming through you and i'm seeing that people are seeing you as someone who is very very powerful very beautiful very magnetic and i'm hearing worship is coming through people feel like they need to worship you people feel like they need to give you something like they need to exchange some sort of energy with you because you just have this radiant queen royalty like energy radiating from you and i am seeing that you're embracing a lot of divine feminine traits with the flow, nurturer, fortune, transformation. These are all very deeply feminine traits. And I'm getting people are like, I'm getting if someone asks someone to define feminine, they will say your name because you have really been embodying these beautiful traits that are of ease, that are of nurturing others, making sure people are well watered, making sure you are well watered, making sure you um, are bringing this energy of it's okay, I'm here, and because I am here, it is okay, if that makes sense. Like, I'm getting that you have this energy that is very comforting, almost mother like, and so when people are with you, they feel really good. Like if we think of our mothers, if you have had a good relationship with her, even if you haven't, but if you think of some of the best times you've had with uh, like a mother like figure, it feels so good and nourishing to be in their energy. And I'm getting that a lot of people feel that way about you. They could feel very peaceful, very calm and very healed when they're around you. And I'm also getting that Again, with the Lakshmi energy, I'm getting that people want to bring you gifts. They want to worship you. They want to honor you. They want to show you that you are important to them. And I'm getting with the Lakshmi card that 
you are in this very powerful, confident energy and you're magnetizing people who want to embody that. And I'm getting a lot of people want to copy you in the healthiest of ways. Like I'm not getting like bad energy around you. I'm getting like people genuinely want to worship you. They want to emulate you. They want to um, be more like you. And I feel like you are someone who activates this goddess-like energy in other people, this energy of power, this energy of divine femininity that is very multifaceted and able to flow between different states. I'm getting that people are also noticing that this transformation that you've had has really, where whoever you come into contact with are automatically transformed as well that you activate in them new ideas, new beliefs, new ways of being. And people, they they want, I'm hearing they want to get into your energy so they can have these activations. They know you are very powerful. I'm getting that there may be some people who really wanna hang out with you, but I'm getting that you have very strong boundaries and you're very selective with who you want in your field and i'm getting that other people are trying to find ways to get into your energy so because even if they're not spiritual and they don't necessarily know why they want to be in your energy um you just have this way of being that feels really good that people are curious about you have this air of mystery as well that people always want to know more about you they want to know your secrets and i feel like that's a very feminine thing as well to be a little bit mysterious to um have things that you don't say right you don't have to say anything you just have to be and because because of this it's not these activations that you bring are not something you say it's it's the way that you move through the world that really changes other people's lives you have temperance. Ooh, okay. So I'm getting that you you have this way of being where you exchange energy with other people, but you do so in a very moderate, calm way that is not overindulgent. Like I'm getting that you're not the type to like stuff themselves to um, the brim. Like you know when to stop. <laughs> and I'm using that as an analogy for other things in your life as well. You know when it's time to back off, when it's time to rest, you know, when it's time to be active, you're very much in touch with your own inner world. With the two of swords, I'm seeing that people may feel ugh, like they didn't see this glow up coming from you, pile number three. I'm getting that they could feel a little blindsided, that they, they may not have realized just how powerful you actually were and I'm getting that you also didn't realize how powerful you were like you're just now understanding like oh my gosh this is my life this is what I've created for myself and I'm getting you have a lot of gold in this deck oh my gosh you have just like this beautiful golden light coming through you could wear a lot of gold jewelry um you you have like this very warm energy and people are very magnetic towards that like we all have shiny metals and gold it's very um attractive to the eye and we as a species have put a lot of value on that and uh as an analogy i think people are noticing that you are like gold you are um, like this precious material that is very worthy to be in your presence like people want to be with you they want to have you they want to um be in your energy spend time with you with the ace of pentacles i'm seeing that you bring a lot of new opportunities to other people and uh, you definitely could be like a good luck charm that could also be why people want to spend time with you is because you have a lot of different connections you have a lot of different opportunities and people know this um Of course, you have the universe card. 
<sighs> and transformation, so interesting. I think that you are just in this very powerful state right now, pile number three, and you're feeling really good about yourself. You're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling, I, I'm getting like celebration energy and completion energy coming through for this pile. And I'm getting that to use this time to to fully soak in what it is that you have created for yourself or what you have um, manifested and how much you have overcome and shed and gained as well. I think that you are definitely in like a very beautiful blossoming time in your life and people are really noticing that about you, pile number three. So that is the reading I have for you, my dear pile three. Please leave a comment if it resonated. Subscribe if you haven't. If you want a personal reading, check out my link in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.